Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the Tarot Advent Calendar. Uh, my name is Evelyn and today I wanted to go through the decks that I got in 2017. Um, now I'm not um, going Christmas to Christmas, so um, yeah, next year when I do this again, um, the Christmas decks that I get this year will be part of that. Um, but yes, uh, 11 decks, I, I keep track of uh, the decks that I get on uh, in my Evernote um, and I put the dates when I get them and uh, if there was a special reason why I got them. So um, yeah, I was quite surprised that it was 11 decks. <laughs> um, I didn't think it was that many. But yeah, um, it's been a long year, hasn't it? It's been a long year. Um, the first deck I got in February is the Omega deck. And um, I've done a walkthrough of this deck, so I'm not going to get all the cards out. Um, I do love it. Uh, it it's very, um, I've said this so many times before, when the world goes to poo, this is this is what happens. It's... Um, it reminds me very much of like The Walking Dead minus the zombies. Um, and actually it works very well with uh, the zombie tarot that I will show you later on. So that was February. Then in March, I got the um, tiny little Massey deck. It's very cute, very small. Um, and, and I got it uh, second hand. So the box was taped up. Um, I did a walkthrough of this deck and um, because everyone was doing the March of the Pips weren't they and I tried I really did and I failed I, I just couldn't get on with it and um, yeah Tom Benjamin I'm still hoping <laughs> keeping my fingers crossed that your book is going to change these things for me um, and that I'll be able to actually use this deck um then in May May was a good good month I got the uh, sun and moon tarot and um I used it for a um uh monthly challenge and it's it's such a cute little deck um I wish it didn't have the borders and um but because the back is black and I don't want to write into the um, into the lovely mandala at the back. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think it would look so much cuter without borders though. But yeah, lovely, lovely deck. Um, and like I said, I use it for a monthly, like this was my, my deck of the month. And um, really enjoyed it. Um, it's it's thoth, thoth based, and uh, I I didn't realise it's that bad. Lovely deck. <laughs> then um, in May as well, I was very very lucky to win um, the giveaway that Two Spirit did Simon on his channel, and I got the Hidden Realms. Like Terror of the Hidden Realms, and I absolutely love this deck. Um, I I keep it in the box though, which is strange for me to do with with a deck that I love so much. Um, but that's because I don't use it all that that much as a tarot deck. Um, not as such, but I I. Oh. It just speaks to me so much. There's, there's a huge, there's a story in each card, and yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's so strange because I wasn't drawn to this when I first saw people using it, um, but then gradually, you people enabled me, <laughs> and uh, Simon um, had. His giveaway was, um, tell me what deck you want and I'll get it for you. And um, I thought, yeah, let's, let's go for it. And I'm so, so glad I did. 
then um, also like I think it was like a week or two weeks later like very very shortly after um, Chase two owls did a giveaway and he was giving away his Native American deck and I was lucky enough to receive it. I received it in June and um, yeah, it's, it's um, because I'm not Native American, quite obviously. <laughs> um, it's not an easy deck for me to use. Um, I mean, this is the back and this is the artwork. So it's more of a a look into the culture for me. Um, there's all these things that are in these pictures that I've got no idea about and um, so I can't really use it like intuitively because I don't know what I'm looking at um, which makes it slightly difficult to use but at the same time it's very very interesting and it's like you know when you want to dive into like learning something new what a great way to do it like tarot is amazing uh, so yeah I love this and I love it because it's from Chase um, then also in June I got the Chinese deck um, this is the back now um, I will do a walkthrough of this deck I haven't used it I've looked through it but I haven't used it why did I get it? Um, it was on my wish list and um, <laughs> my husband had bought himself some games and he said, do you want a deck? And I went, yeah, 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 uh, the Chinese deck because it was on my wish list. <laughs> so I got this and um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like uh, the Native American deck. Um, it's, it's interesting but because it's not my culture, I don't really use it. Um, but the artwork is beautiful and I will show you uh, soon. And then, also in June, June was a good month as well, came the Everyday Witch. And if you've watched my channel for any time at all, you know how much I love this deck. It is gorgeous. It makes reading a very easy. It's, yeah, I, I love this deck. And I didn't think I would as much as I do. Isn't it amazing how you can be surprised sometimes by just how much you're going to enjoy a deck? Um, yeah. I keep it out of the box, I keep it in a little baggie, um, which is what I'm going to be doing with my uh, Vivid Journey as well, um, because I feel that that's going to be just as much a, I, I keep wanting to say plug and play, because that's like a gamer's um, um, way of saying things, but yeah, straight out of the box, and you're good to go. Um, then October, October was a good month as well. <laughs> In October came the Vice Versa Tarot. And this, for those who haven't seen it, is such an interesting concept because the deck is double-sided. So you get the front and then you get the back. And at first I thought, oh, it's it's like the the um, your normal side, like you've... You, upright and then reversed but that's not the case for some cards you could say that um, but um, not for all of them it's it just gives you like a wider view of things um, very often it's a day and night uh, but sometimes it's just a uh, front and back um, yeah and it's just It's very, very interesting to work with, and um, yeah, I still, I'm, I'm still not consistent with how I put. I keep saying that as well. How I put my cards down, um, 
uh, sometimes the way I put them down is the way I read it and sometimes I turn them over and that's the way I read it but yeah it's 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 a lovely deck and do you know what sometimes the card is the card and um, I read I read both sides to sort of give that almost 360 degree view yeah it's it's yeah it's it's sort of like expanded it and it's really interesting how they did it um and i've got a walkthrough of that as well the zombie tarot <laughs> which was a complete like novel it's a complete novelty deck and i do love a novelty deck um the artwork is brilliant it makes me laugh it's great for um uh, reading um scary movies or a series like the walking dead or whatever um i use it quite a bit for that and uh it is just funny and um during the um halloween season it's perfect it's absolutely perfect um so yeah i did a walkthrough of that as well if you're interested um i've got a playlist with all my walkthroughs so if you want to have a look that's where they are I'm trying to fit them all back in the box um it's a lovely box uh then also in october i got the star tarot i haven't used it yet because it it's an ostara tarot <laughs> so um yeah i haven't used it um it came with my lovely three of um, pentacles missing um, so I had to um, contact the company and um, they sent me another card the cards are beautiful um, I had a little bit of problems with the gilding sticking when I got the deck first when I you know, opened it and started looking through it um but yeah it's just really really nice but i'm saving it for springtime and i feel yeah i don't know if you name a deck ostara then it's got no business being out in your time i think I might feel completely different once I start playing with it and it might be an all-rounder, all-year-long kind of deck. Who knows? And then, in December, the Vivid Journey. And, do you know what? Since I've got it, I mean, it's only been a couple of days, let's be honest. Um, I haven't put it down. You've seen me use it. There we go, that's the card. You've seen me use it, and um, yeah, I, I haven't put it down. I like how um, bright it is, how um, clear it is, how, yeah, just bold and I'm here. And um, yeah, I re I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm glad that um, Cinder Glass got it for me and not Father Christmas because that means that I can give it quite a bit of time to play with. Um, and it's not like all bunched up with, with other decks that I might be getting. <laughs> that was number 11, lucky number 11. Um, I think it's lucky. Um, yeah, so that was it for... Uh, my video for today um, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of my three free readings you have to put reading in your comment you have to be a subscriber you have to do this um, on midnight before midnight on the 19th I will tell you in that video that that day is the last day you can do it um, and on the 21st I will get three names out of my bowl and um, yeah if I pick your name twice you get two readings, but I'll pick another name um, for those three slots. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>
Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.